welcome back to Beat Terrific's continuing coverage of CE Week 2016, live from New York City, the Metropolitan Pavilion. Now, today we've had a lot of scheduled interviews. It was our first chance to see a lot of products, but Adam and I went out on the floor and started roaming around, and we found these guys. Yeah. <laughs> and we saw this and said, wait a second, what is this? Now, this is going to be a tough interview <laughs> because let's put it out there. What you guys essentially do, and you'll explain it better than yep. my one sentence, yep. but you take the GoPro and you make it into a 3D camera. Oh, yeah. Now, this is going to be a weird interview because our viewers aren't going to be able to see the end product, which we had an opportunity <laughs> to do. And so cool. we're going to talk them through it, mm -hmm. but... I mean, yeah, let's let's just start with the technology. W yeah. Where did this idea even come from? You know, this came out of a piece of our innovation lab. So we just have a bunch of guys that are like trying out new projects and they kind of just hit the jackpot. I mean, this is a cool thing, right? It takes your video and completely changes how you can record and what you can do with your GoPro. Now, we just got back from uh, some incredible, incredible times in Las Vegas. Yeah. We were at Infocom, we were at NAB, and certainly at Infocom, we were uh, we had a pavilion there, mm -hmm. and we were part of the the, um, the VR pavilion, cool. and we spent a lot of time with the Ozo, and that of course is a 360 degree 3D camera. Uh, I had a chance to actually shoot on it while we were there. Uh, that camera cost sixty thousand dollars. Yikes. <laughs> uh, this I'm I'm hoping I don't know yet it does not. Not even close. <laughs> now, the first thing is, this looks like a standard GoPro case. Yeah. And you yeah. just mount this to the front of the lens, is that correct? So it actually comes pre-attached. So you get this whole thing together, and it mounts to all of your normal GoPro accessories, so you're ready to go, you don't need anything new. Um, but the coolest part is, you just stick your GoPro in and start recording. There's nothing else. You just take those videos, and they're instantly ready to be viewed on any 3D headset. Now, it's amazing that you say that it uses GoPro accessories because we just had on a battery manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Now, the GoPro's battery life is eh, but they make an attachment that goes right on the back of a waterproof case. I'm assuming then it would fit on here. Um, mm -hmm. So you could, you could, like you said, this doesn't eliminate any other GoPro accessories that you're already using. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's something that clips onto the front. Right. <laughs> and how does it work? I mean, is there any, is this all essentially passive technology? Is there anything electronic happening here? It's all passive. We use optics to redirect the images to get a left and right view. And so when you watch it through a uh, headset, it uses stereoscopic 3D to make everything just pop and look 3D. So you can actually see depth and enjoy, you know, skydiving or snowboarding or skateboarding or whatever you're doing. Just really feel like you're there again and re-experiencing those fun times. Yeah, now I came over to the booth and saw a skydiving video. Oh yeah. And I can tell you that certainly it did not feel like any other GoPro video I've ever seen or shot or anything like that. It was a completely new experience. Now, because we had played with the Ozo, I was like looking around. I wanted the 3D view and, <laughs> yeah. and of course I wasn't there, but it, it was unique. And you certainly, the other thing that I noticed right away, and, and maybe there's a scientific reason behind this, I didn't feel like um, I was seeing that very wide, fish-eyed GoPro look. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel that way to me. Yeah. Why? Yeah, so we actually shoot in narrow field of view to eliminate that fish-eye effect, so you see more depth. Now you see depth because you've got you know, left and right eye, so when it combines the images uh, that you're getting from both sides of the lens, you can really see into the image. That's incredible. Now, I'm assuming because of this, this works with the GoPro 3, 3 Plus, 4, it's the Hero 4 and the Hero 3. Mm -hmm. Great, okay, so big question, everybody's waiting. All right. What does it cost? Yeah, so how much do you think it's gonna cost? All right, I mean, so, the other camera's 1400 or? All right, so, uh, so this is gonna be fun. All right, so <laughs> this is a really cool accessory. A GoPro costs, it's 400? 400, 400 bucks. So 400 bucks for the GoPro to shoot in 3D and then not need any other software. I don't need to stitch anything, mm -mm. nothing. Yeah. I would say this is probably a $150 to $200 accessory. Yeah, you'd think, right? But this is actually going to retail for $129. That is incredible. And you talk about optics. This is, this is heavy, not in a bad way. There's, mm -hmm. There is 
there's weight to these optics. Yeah. This is a, a beefy component. The metal's really strong. Mm -hmm. Now, the other thing I noticed is you are in the Indiegogo section over there. <laughs> are you guys currently crowdfunding right now? You know what? Actually, we started crowdfunding yesterday. We've already passed our goal, and we've got some deep discounts. So we've actually got a few things that are going on. Unlike normal campaigns, we're actually launching uh, our product in the middle of the campaign. So we're going to be shipping before the campaign is even over. So uh, if you go on and you buy, uh, then you're going to get your lens very quickly. And if you refer someone, you're going to get it even sooner. So you can get it in July. In July? Yeah. That's next month. People. Yeah. We've got lenses that we're ready to ship out right now. That is unbelievable. And what is, the, what is the crowdfunding price? So if you get it in the next two days, you can get it for 65 bucks. That's like half off. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. <laughs> that is incredible. So you can now shoot in 3D for 65 bucks. Bingo. What, would I uh, what do I search for in Indiegogo to find this? Uh, just search for Vitrima Lens, V-I-T-R-I-M-A. Read your shirt. There we go. There it is. <laughs> that, I, I mean, I'm, I'm honestly blown away by the price point, the what you could take with a fairly common piece of technology and make it really cool. Let's get into, because we talked about this a lot at Infocom, but we're here at CE Week. Yeah. Let's get into the process, right? I know my GoPro video, I don't know too much about video, you know, but I know I could shoot it and like I have my final cut or like my yeah. premiere and I start to know how to chop it up. Mm -hmm. And then I export it and I put it on YouTube or I'll put it on my phone as yeah. a file. How do I get the file now, because for those that don't know, essentially the raw file out of here is going to be a dual image on the left and right. Yeah. I'm just gonna, ready if to I go. just watch it in, in quick time on my MacBook Pro, I'm going to see a left and right image of the same thing and go, ah. Yeah. So what do, I, what do I do? How do I watch it? Yeah, so the easiest way and the fastest way is you connect your GoPro uh, via the GoPro app to your phone, and then you can just have the video instantly on your phone ready to put in that 3D viewer and ready to watch in 3D. Now, it's not a problem that it's left and right, right? Because essentially if I want to edit it and I want to put music behind it or whatever, I just bring the, the dual view into my NLE. Yep. It's still a whatever resolution. Do you have a recommended resolution to shoot at? We recommend 1080p um, because that gets the best 3D effect. So 4K, no. No, you get too much uh, fisheye and it goes too wide. So 1080p at the narrow... Uh, setting. Okay, so I bring it in. I'm in my NLE now. I have a 1920 by 1080 that's kind of split down the middle. Make all my edits, put all my music in, just export it the way it is, and then I put it in my 3D viewer, and there it is. So Good I don't enough. need any additional software. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. This is, I got to try this. This is, yeah. this is great. You know what's uh, actually crazy is uh, you can watch 3D video streaming directly from your, uh, from your GoPro camera. Now, why is that cool? Because you can actually put a 3D headset on, stream to the phone inside of that headset, and you can watch yourself live in 3D. All right, we just hit Inception. <laughs> it's, it's Inception now. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're in it, we're, and you're, okay. I'm gonna, I need a, I, I need a good like, go 10 back to, to 15 seconds it. to like <laughs> digest all that. No, really, this is, I mean, this is an amazing product. I haven't walked the floor yet, but this mm -hmm. is certainly to me, from what I've seen here, and that's what we look for in Be Terrific. It's it's about it's about innovation. Mm -hmm. You know, you can make the TV bigger, and you could curve it, and you can, uh, you, you know, you can improve on things. But this is this is such a unique way to take a super super common piece of technology, mm -hmm. and and now I happen to fly a lot of drones. Um, I'm just thinking. <laughs> And if you put this on a drone now, I mean, there's you so many, what? there's so many you mounts. We uh, we thought of that. You did. Yeah. So we actually have a second version. I uh, don't know how much I should talk about this, but nobody's listening. <laughs> yeah, but it is it is lightweight and it fits directly onto the uh, the front uh, part of the camera, so you can actually put it on a drone and record from your drone in three D as well. That is. All right, we, we got to get some of these. We got to get some demo units so we can get them out there. Yeah. This is incredible. Check them out on Indiegogo right now. I, I cannot, t to save almost 50% off of this product in the next 48 hours, Vitramon Indiegogo, yep. check it out. Come down here. Come to the Metropolitan Pavilion as we close out day one. You got to come here 
tomorrow. Doors open at 9 o'clock. And check this thing out in, per in person. They have sample videos they've recorded jumping out of a plane. Listen, I, I, uh, I'm a pilot. I, I'll fly a plane. I ain't jumping out of it. Yeah. So I'll watch your video. That's all I need. I get yeah. the experience. You'll be there. No problem. <laughs> get down here. Check them out. And we will be right back with the close of day one here live in New York City from CE Week 2016. Stay tuned.